First, it's interesting because those priorities, I think President Obama could probably say exactly the same thing. So, uh, but it's at least they are saying the right thing, which I think is important. Yeah, the being the head of the G20 for the year is a, a, it's a great opportunity because there's going to be enormous uh, interaction with the other 19 members. Uh, there'll be a lot of press coverage on the country. And so I think that uh, if the messaging is good and it's followed up with some uh, demonstrable reforms in the country, uh, actionable ones that people can put their fingers on and see visibly, um, I think Russia can do a lot towards improving its perception. And uh, perception in the modern world is, is, is unfortunately very important. And I don't think in the past uh, Russian government has thought too much about its image overseas. And that's unfortunate because uh, it's, it's, it, it's the country's fortunes have been rising and falling with commodity prices. And uh, the great lesson in the last hundred years is that some of the best economies in the world have virtually nothing underground. If you look at Japan and the miracle that they created, if you look at South Korea, if you look at Israel, if you look at China even, there's really very little mineral wealth there and yet it's all human capital. And that, I think, will be the key going forward. And given the fact that Russia has sort of poor demographics, an aging population, shrinking net migration out, um, trying to reverse that a little bit uh, will go a long way in the future towards developing the knowledge economy that uh, they state that they, they want to they cultivate. Thank you.